everyone. Welcome to Intro to Extended Techniques. I'm oboist and composer Laura Atkins. Let's get started. If you haven't already watched the intro video on my YouTube channel, I would recommend that you do that first because I explain what I mean by the term extended techniques and I give an overall structure for how my method book and how these videos will work. So today we're going to talk about harmonic fingerings. A harmonic fingering is a different way of playing a note that you already know. Harmonic fingerings have a different tone color or timbre than the standard fingerings, um, so they can add a different quality to the music. There are only a handful of harmonic fingerings that are possible on the oboe, and I get you started with three in my method book. If you look at the fingering charts in the method book, you'll notice that these harmonic fingerings are very similar to notes a perfect fifth below the note you're trying to play. For example, the harmonic fingering for high A is very similar to half whole D and to low D. Right? We can talk a lot more about the harmonic series and why that is, but I think that's probably a topic for another video. Right now, all I want to do is call your attention to the fact that these harmonic fingerings are similar to fingerings for other notes that you already know. So, the first exercise, I have you switch back and forth between the fingerings for those notes that you already know, like half whole D, and the fingering for harmonic A, which is very, very similar. The only differences between the two is that you are closing the half whole and adding that second octave key. So, instead of you get and the same for half whole E flat and B flat. Instead of you get same for E natural and B natural. In the second exercise, I have you switch back and forth between the regular or standard fingerings for these notes and their harmonic fingerings. So this really gives you a sense of the difference in tone color or timbre between these two different fingerings. For example, looking at the standard fingering for high A, and then the harmonic fingering, Sometimes people describe the harmonic fingering as a little bit rounder or a little bit more covered. Whatever words you use to describe it, I hope you'll be able to hear the difference between these two fingerings. The third exercise has you move between the harmonic fingerings for different notes. This is just to get you comfortable with the technique, to give you another opportunity to sort of get these new fingerings under your fingers. I've marked this exercise at quarter note equals 80, but if you need to, start slower. There's no rush, there's no hurry. The goal here is to just become comfortable. The etude in this section incorporates a few harmonic fingerings into a simple minuet melody. This is a quick reminder that just because there are extended techniques does not give you an excuse not to play musically. If there are dynamics in this etude, there are breath marks, make sure you're observing all of those things and that you have the goal of playing as musically as possible. As you work on more and more extended techniques, you will find sometimes that the extended technique itself can really help you play more musically if you're looking for that and if you take advantage of that opportunity. You do have one of those opportunities here in the second to last measure. There is a standard fingering high A and then a harmonic fingering high A. Your dynamic is already piano and it's marked smortzando, which means dying away. So you will be getting even softer and a little slower at the end of this etude. Now the harmonic fingering, as I said before, is often considered more covered or somehow rounder, um, a little bit softer. So use that difference in tone color to help you make that smortzando, to help you get softer. And because you are getting softer and slower, 
you have a little bit of extra time to make sure you are really getting to that harmonic fingering, to make sure you are really comfortable and really solid with it. You can find a recording of this whole etude on my website, lauraadkinsmusic.com, or on my YouTube channel in the same playlist as all of these techniques videos. Thanks for tuning in and learning about harmonic fingerings. Happy practicing!